Yeah. Is it good? Mm -hmm. Kind of. Kind of. What about the uh, audio? Kind of, yep. Kind of. Hey, Shalom Makim. First and foremost, we want to give all praises to Yahweh, Ba'ashim, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashim, Rafaq Kudash. Double honors to the elders and apostles, that great millstone, Shalom, to the sincere brethren out there pushing his word, and to you sincere listeners. So we the brothers in the, the SF camp, you know, we're getting ready to, uh, you know, hold uh, the Passat. You know, we just want to go into a, a open forum. You know, so whatever the spirit, you know, allows to come out, uh, is going to come out. You know, we some real heavy times, man. You know, this this damn devil, he can make his move at any moment. You know, any moment the, the mark of the beast uh, can be instituted. And everything that he's uh, doing, you know, all the moves that he's making is leading up to that point, man. Okay, out there in the land of Israel, you know, they got something called a green uh, passport. But that's just another step, you know, towards uh, the MOB, you know. All these jabs are, are, are being rolled out. You know, pretty soon they're going to become mandatory, man. And you're going to need these, uh, you know, certain things to be able to function in uh, society. Okay, and all these things are just precursors to uh, the mark of the beast. Mm -hmm. All right, so, you know, if any brother got any precepts. Can I have uh, Daniel 12? Go ahead. This is uh, Daniel 12, verse 1. It says, And at that time shall Michael stand up. Uh huh. The great prince which standeth. For the children of thy people. Yeah, that's how bad it's going to get out here, man. It's going to get so bad that Michael's going to have to come down there to help us. You know, keep going. And there shall be a time of trouble. There shall be a time of trouble. You look that word trouble up, the word there is distress. We've been ready to be in distressed times, man, in a distressed situation. Get uh, Revelation 12 and 12 real quick. Okay. Okay. This is Revelation chapter 12, verse 12. Therefore rejoice ye heavens, uh -huh. and ye that dwell in them. Yep. Woe to the inhabitants of the earth and of the sea, mm -hmm. for the devil has come down unto wrath. Yeah, the devil has come down unto you having great wrath. I'm in trouble that it's talking about. And you look up that word wrath in the Greek, you know, it goes into somebody being in a drunken rage. And that's that's Esau Edom. You know, that that's the, the mindset he's going to have when he comes down upon you so-called Negroes. Latinos and Native Americans, he's going to be in a drunken race. So nothing you say to him is going to get him out of that state, you know, and have him, uh, you know, back off of you, man. The only way that you going to, you can escape this damn devil is if you have help from on high, man. Okay? Uh, keep going. It says, for the devil has come down unto you, mm -hmm. having great wrath. Having great wrath, he's going to be in a drunken rage. Keep going. Because he knoweth he had but a short time. Because he knoweth that he had but a short time, man. And what we doing right now. Okay? We're a reminder of what happened to him uh, back in the ancient time. Okay? What went down between our forefathers, how he sold his birthright. You know? These Christian theologians, they'll try to paint it like Jacob was a trickster. You know, he, he was he was, a, he was a, like a serpent. You know, he, he fedangled, uh, uh, you know, Esau out of the birthright. It wasn't even like that, man. You read the account. Esau said, I don't need this birthright. Right. You know? What is it going to profit me now? I'm getting ready to die. Okay? And Jacob... It was a clean transaction, man. Look, you want you want what I'm cooking right here? Give me a birthright. Esau gave it up. Okay, and now the nigga's lying about the actual account because he realizes how important that birthright is right now, man. Okay? So he's pissed off. Why? Because we're, we're, we're a reminder of what happened back in the ancient time, man. Now he sold his birthright. And how really how he got rejected by Yahweh Shemi Yahweh Shai. Okay, get uh the 17th verse in uh, Revelation 12. He's mad, man. This nigga's big mad. Okay, and that anger, he's going to use that anger to come down with that great wrath upon the nation of Israel. He ain't going to stop. Nothing you can do is going to get this nigga to stop, man. Okay? He's going to bring all his weapons out, and he's going to go against you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. And everybody's on this hit list, man, because anybody could be part of the elect. All right? See, this is what you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans don't understand, man. You think this this nigga's, you know, he's a nice guy, you know, he's helping you out, he hits you off with the 1400 uh, stimmy, you know, yeah, he's good, man, he's cool, he hates you, man, okay? You only good in his eyes if you play in the capacity of a slave, because that doesn't remind him of, you know, that you over him, and that you received the blessing from Isaac, man. Uh, bring it out. Revelations 12 and 17. 
And the dragon was wroth with the woman. The dragon was wroth with the woman. The mm -hmm. woman is the nation of Israel. The dragon represents the mm -hmm. Roman Empire, man. The modern day Roman Empire is NATO and the EU. Okay? They're mad right now. Just the fact that we're making these videos, they're pissed off, man. Okay? Because that's a reminder to them that Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai is dealing with us. Okay? That, that uh, slave capacity that they try to put us in is null and void. Okay? The Most High was never dealing with them. Keep going. And went to make war with the remnant of her seed. And went to make war with the remnant of her seed. And that's what he's getting ready to do. That's what he's plotting, man. All these different uh, uh, bills that they're passing, you know, this different legislation that he's bringing out, it's all in order to prepare for war against you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, man. The Operation Warp Speed, him uh, going for the guns, okay? This is all to get ready to take you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans out, man. Okay, you don't care about the rest of these people out here. You're the number one enemy. Keep going. It says, and went to make war with the remnant of her seed, mm -hmm. which keep the commandments of the Most High. Which keep the commandments of the Most High. And that's what pisses them off, man. Okay, because when we keep the commandments of Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shai, we are basically we re rekindled that connection that we have with the Heavenly Father, man. And that reminds him and shows him that the Heavenly Father is still dealing with us, man. Even though he put us in, in, in his lowest state. Even though he's he had been slander concerning us, man. Seeing that we're the lowest form of, of, of creature down here upon the earth. You know, we're, we, we the, we the missing link between man and, and beast. You know, but despite all that, the Heavenly Father still views us as he viewed us in the ancient time, man. You read Deuteronomy, the seventh chapter. Okay, we're still that holy nation, man. He don't like that. Because what does that really mean? That means that he has no chance of getting the birthright back, man. Okay, so he's mad. And the only way he can get the birthright back is if he completely exterminates the nation of Israel. He's going to do that in two ways. He's going to actually put uh, Israelites to death and also do that mark of the beast. Okay, if you take the chip, you're basically dead to the Heavenly Father perpetually, man. You can't repent from that. Uh, keep going. It says... Which keep the commandments of the Most High uh -huh. and have the testimony of Yahweh Shah and Mashiach. have the testimony of Yahweh Shah and Mashiach. And what's the testimony of Yahweh Shah? Get it in uh, Revelation 19 chapter. Okay. Revelation. And get Second uh, Thessalonians 2. This is why he's mad. He's mad because we're bringing the word up. We're mad because we are prophesying what the intentions of Yahweh Hashem and Yahweh Shah are. And it's no good concerning you, man. Okay? Even though you're going to come down with that great wrath, the Heavenly Father is going to help us, man. Okay? Even though you got in your, your mind to exterminate the nation of Israel, Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shah is going to send help. Okay? Which that was part of the birthright that you sowed. <laughs> okay? Uh, bring it up. In Revelations 19 and 10, And I fell at his feet to worship him. And he said unto me, See thou do it not. Uh -huh. I am thy fellow servant. And of thy brother that have the testimony of Yahweh Shai. Keep going. Worship the Most High, for the testimony of Yahweh Shai is the spirit of prophecy. Yeah, the testimony of Yahweh Shai is the spirit of prophecy. And that's what we're bringing out. Okay, we have the testimony of Yahweh Shai. We're prophesying against this devil. He's mad, man. He's mad at the fact that we realize who he really is. Okay, we're, we're no longer looking at him as he's, he's the God of the earth. You're an Edomite, man. Okay. All this BS that you pushed upon our people has been wiped away through the spirit and power of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. The Most High, he's, he's washed our eyes, man. We see you for what you really are. And we know who we really are, man. Mm -hmm. Okay, and we ain't going to bow down to you. And you, 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 you get pissed off over that. Just like Haman and Mordecai, man. Okay? Out of all the people in the world, he got mad because the Israelite didn't bow down to him. Going back to Genesis, the 27th chapter, man. He feels like we're supposed to be a servant. You know, uh, bring it out, Second Thessalonians, you can just get to the point. You shall destroy with the, the brightness of his coming. Kind. Uh, this is Second Thess uh, Thessalonians 2 and 8. And and then shall that wicked be revealed. Yeah, you being revealed. Okay, because you push these lies throughout the four corners of the earth that you the, you the top nation. You're the nation that God loves. You know, or if, if, if people want to get closer to the Heavenly Father, they got to follow your way. Okay, but we expose you for being the devil that you are. All of your customs go against everything that Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai stands for, man. And you're seeing it more and more. Okay, what is he pushing now? He's pushing transformers, man. He wants your child to be a transformer. You know, you got a daughter. You're gonna tell her that she's a she's a she's a boy. Then you're gonna give her puberty blockers, man. 
completely destroying her, her system and, and messing up her chances of having a family further down the line, man. Okay? A, a child can't vote. You know, a child can't uh, make the decision to buy a pack of cigarettes from the, from the uh, store, but they can make a decision of whether they want to be a, a, a man or a woman and take puberty blockers, man. Get the hell out of here. Keep going. And then shall that wicked be revealed, mm -hmm. whom the Lord shall consume with the spirit of his mouth. Whom the Lord shall consume with the spirit of his mouth. The prophecies, man. Okay? And he, he, he tried his hardest for this not to come to pass. But the will <laughs> and the power of Yahweh is stronger than you. That's right. Keep going. It says, um, and shall destroy with the brightness of his coming. And shall destroy with the brightness of his coming. Which that's going to happen too. Yahweh is going to come back with the angels. You're going to try to fight him and you're going to lose miserably, man. It ain't going to work out for you, Esau. Is it on that? Yeah, yeah. All right, Kyle, you can jump back to uh, Revelation. Mm -hmm. And then we can jump back to uh, Daniel, the 12th chapter. Hey, hey, quick, please, Go ahead. It's uh, Revelation 12 and 11. It says, and they overcame him by the blood of the Lamb. Well, you can start at uh, 8. Okay, uh, Revelation 12 and 8. It says, uh, I started I'm going to start at 7. Go Yeah. Revelation 12 and 7, it says, And there was war in heaven. Uh -huh. Michael, it's just getting ready to happen. That matches up with, uh, we read in uh, Daniel, the 12th chapter. Okay? It said there was war in heaven. I ain't talking about up there in the spiritual world for you bugged out ass Christians, man. Oh, see, so Satan is up there fighting with Michael and the angels. Michael was one of the good ones. He's the one that stood by the Lord. Get the hell out of here, man. Okay? This is going to take place down here upon the earth. The heaven just represents the atmosphere, man. They're going to be fighting, just like you see in that movie, uh, Independence Day. That's how it's going to go down. Uh, keep going. Then it says, and there was war in heaven. Mm -hmm. Michael and his angels yep. fought against the dragon. And the dragon fought in his angels. Which the dragon is NATO and the EU. Okay, their angels represent their fighter jets, man. Okay, their air force and also uh, their space force. Okay, keep going. And prevail not. And prevail not. So it's already written that you're going to lose. You fight a losing battle. Okay, but really what's going on is that Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai is harder than your heart, man. Okay, because anybody in their right mind, they wouldn't do what you're doing. It's impossible for you to go up against Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai and win. Okay, your whole new world order, anybody that thinks like that, you out of your mind, man. Okay, so let's say, let's say he was able to, you know, do what he wants to do. Let's say he was able to establish his new world order. He can control everybody down here on the earth. You know, he can have control over all... The earth, uh, uh, you know, everything that has been created, the Lord can still destroy you and reset things, man. Just like He did in the flood. So you, how you how you gonna escape? You know, we're showing you that Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai is that work here, man. He's hard in his heart, okay? Because only only a fool will try to do these things, you know. But the Most High has the spirit in him to to do these things, you know, to go forward with this agenda, so He can destroy him. Okay, because this nigga Esau, he all into the Bible, man. He's, he's the, the quote-unquote top Bible scholar on the earth. This nigga know about the flood. He know about Sodom and Gomorrah. So he knows that you can't escape from the Heavenly Father. So you would you know, ask yourself, why is he doing these things? Because the Heavenly Father's heart in his heart. Uh, keep going. It says, and prevail not, mm -hmm. neither was their place found anymore in heaven. Yeah, neither was their place found anymore in heaven. Meaning what? Your rulership is going to be taken away from you, man. This whole system that you set up, Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shah is going to destroy it. Okay? Keep going. Verse 9 says, and The great dragon was cast out. Uh huh. That old serpent yep. called the devil and Satan. Yeah, that old serpent. This is the same devil, man. He has the same agenda. What's the agenda that the serpent had? He wanted to establish a satanic rulership down here on the earth. Okay? And he wanted to see uh, the righteous fall. That's the reason why he gave Adam or uh, Eve. Uh, the fruit, you know, he gave her that philosophy, man, so she could fall, okay, all kind of calamities could come upon uh, uh, the sons of God, okay, and then he could gain foothold and, and establish himself as, as the head down here, man, and he's, the, the, the same agenda applies today, he hasn't changed, it's the same nigga, man, right. okay, the elites, that's, that's the same serpent that was in the garden, okay, keep going. It says, which deceiveth the whole world. Which deceiveth the whole world. When you look up that word, uh, deceive, the word there is planao, which means to lead astray from the path of truth. And that's what he's doing with the whole world, man. Okay? But you can't really speak about it. You know, the jazz. That, that's, that's, that shit is complete madness, man. It's nothing but wickedness. That's right. Okay? You don't got nothing to do with the crown one nine, man. Okay? 
he it's a it's a way more nefarious uh, uh, agenda that's at play here. Okay, but she's trying to literally separate people from the heavenly Father, man. He wants he wants all remembrance of Yahweh Bashmi Shai to cease down here upon the earth. Keep going. It says he was cast out into the earth. Mm -hmm. His angels were cast out with him. Yeah, he was cast out to the earth, meaning he was, his rulership was taken away from him. He was brought into that low estate, man. Okay, no longer was he living in his heaven. All right, keep going. And I heard a loud voice saying in heaven, now has come salvation and strength. Yeah, now has come salvation and strength. After the dragon gets destroyed, which the dragon is that fourth beast that you read about in Daniel the seventh chapter, man. Okay? After that beast was destroyed, after that last, uh, uh, you know, you read Daniel the second chapter, after the toes and the feet were destroyed, the kingdom of heaven got, got established. Okay, so we're reading about that fourth beast here in uh, Revelation the 12th chapter. After it's destroyed, salvation is going to come for the nation of Israel. All right, keep going. It says, now it's come salvation and strength uh -huh. in the kingdom of our power yep. and the power of his anointed. Mm -hmm. For the accuser of our brethren is cast down. Yeah, the accuser of our brethren is cast down. This nigga's accusing us right now, man. Okay, even though we're trying to hold the facade to the best of our ability, you got other of our people that ain't doing that. He's accusing us, man. Look, look at them. They, they ain't keeping their laws. You know? Oh, look at them. They're going to be eating bread. But, nigga, you offering bread, man. You could go on a Safeway. You could buy a loaf of bread. Okay, and why is, why, why is Safeway doing that? Because Esau Edom is allowing them to. When it's Christmas and uh, uh, it's Thanksgiving, the stores is closed, man. You can't go buy shit. You got to either have food at your house, you know, uh, uh, prepare it beforehand. Okay, you got to go to the store before the, the store closes. Or you got to be with your family. You know, eat, eating the, uh, uh, the Thanksgiving meal, man. Okay? Why? Because he wants you to celebrate those holidays. But when it comes to the Passover, he, he, don't want you to, he don't want you to keep the feast of the Lord, man. Okay, because it's well within his power to say, okay, look, we, gonna, we ain't going to sell bread for a week. You know, anything that has uh, leaven in it, we're going to take it away because we're, we're following the laws of God. You know, this nigga said, nah, to hell with that. We ain't doing that. You can buy bread if you want to. You can, you can eat leaven if you want to. Okay? And he's allowing this to happen, and then he's accusing the nation of Israel before the Heavenly Father. Look at what they're doing. You know? They eat the bread. They got, they got leaven in their house. Look, he said they ain't supposed to have leaven. Okay, but you don't even push this uh, 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 holiday to the uh, uh, you know to the people here in America, man. Okay, or throughout uh, the four corners of the earth. So you don't want us at fault, man. Keep going, and the Lord, the Lord gonna judge you for that. Keep going. Then he gonna put yeast and them and everything in yep. hopes of uh, keeping everything. us from felt, from um, from holding one of the most solemn yeah. um, ceremonies. Mm -hmm. right? And, yes. it's, and it's crazy because now around this time he's giving you the free donut. Yep. Oh yeah. yeah. Oh man. <laughs> yeah. 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 Don't don't get the jab and don't eat no fucking Krispy Kreme, man. Yeah, for sure. Okay. Mm. At least for this week. He <laughs> <laughs> uh, says, "For the accuser of our brethren is cast down." Yep. Which accused them before our power day and night. Yeah. Which accused them before our power day and night. And they have you know people constantly. Accusing us before Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, man. You know, on a constant basis, on a daily basis, man. Look, look what your people doing. You know? Oh, you got uh, D. Wade. You know, his son want to be a woman. The reason why he's in that mindset is because of Esau Edom. Now, and Esau puts this nigga to the forefront. You know, then other Israelites will hop on board with that. And they'll, they'll use that as accusation against the nation of Israel, man. Mm -hmm. look, look, look at what they doing. Look at this nigga D. Wade. Look, he got his son. Let his son be a woman. That's against your law. Well, you don't want to promote that, man. Okay? Well, uh, you know, uh, Sleepy Joe, he he uh, got a, a transformer uh, as oh, yeah. a part of his cabinet, man. The minister of health is a transformer. So he, how you going to be promoting it, but then you going to accuse us, you know, of being wicked for uh, uh, doing those things, man? Which those Israelites, they are going to be destroyed for doing that. But you are the reason, you play a big part in the reason why Jake is going down that path, man. You ain't telling them that they're Israelites and telling them that they're supposed to be keeping the law, statutes, and commandments of the Heavenly Father. Okay? Uh, keep going. Yeah, verse, <clears throat> verse 11 says, never came him, and never came him by the blood of the Lamb. Yeah, that's how we're going to overcome you, by the blood of Yahweh Shah. Okay, get, uh, somebody get Romans, uh, the 8th chapter. Get the uh, first verse real quick. Uh, this is Romans chapter 8 and 1. 
there is therefore now no condemnation to them which are in Hamashiach, Yahweh Shah. Yeah, so there's nothing you can do against the elect, man. Okay, even though we go off still, we still covered by the blood of Yahweh Shai, man. Which through that uh, sacrifice that uh, Yahweh Shai, uh, you know, uh, offered up to the Heavenly Father, which was himself, us accepting that uh, offering, that sacrifice, we're made clean through his blood, man. So any sins or iniquity that we, you know, have done, they're washed through the blood of Yahweh Shai. So you through. Okay, all your accusations going to come to nothing. You, you're accusing us for nothing. How are you going to accuse somebody that's innocent? You know? And then what happens when you bring up false accusations? Your ass end up in tr on trial, man. <laughs> you filing false police reports. You know? So so what have you, what have you been doing? You know? Uh, keep going. It says that they came him by the blood of the Lamb and by the word of their testimony. Mm -hmm. And they loved not their lives unto the death. And they loved not their lives unto the death. So this whole, you know, uh, uh, situation that you're going to try to set up to try to force Jacob to give you uh, the birthright back for some food, it ain't going to work. Because these individuals down here don't give a fuck about their life, man. They don't care if they die, okay? Their, their main focus is staying pure in the sight of your Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shai, man. To hell with your food, to hell with your, uh, uh, your living quarters, you know, to hell with uh, the status that you can gain in this world. We're, they're worried about how to please your Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shai, man. Okay, so your whole plan ain't go, it, it's not going to work. All right, uh, there's, there's more on that. Kind of, that was it. Okay, uh, you can jump back to uh, Daniel, the 12th yeah, chapter. We'll start at the top again. Uh, Daniel's 12, verse 1, it says, And at that time shall Michael stand up, the great prince which standeth for the children of thy people. Uh huh, and this, this is the time that, that that's going to happen. Okay, this is going to happen during the rulership of the fourth beast. All right, just as we read in uh, Revelation, the 12th chapter. Keep going. And it says, and there shall be a time of trouble. And there shall be a time of trouble. Why? Because that, that uh, power structure is going to come down upon the nation of Israel with great wrath, man. Okay, because Esau knows that after this kingdom is destroyed, okay, that the kingdom of heaven is going to be established. And that kingdom is going to be established forever and ever, as it states in the prophecies. So his only way to continue uh, uh, ruling is to try to stop this prophecy from coming to pass, man. And the only way to do that in his mind is to destroy the nation of Israel. Okay, see, if I put them to death, then the Lord is going to have to look at me as, as the next one in line. You know, because I'm the, I'm, I'm, the, I'm, I'm the next son from Isaac. So I'll get the birthright. I'll get the blessing. You know? Keep going. It says, and there shall be a time of trouble such as never was since there was a nation. Yeah, such as never was since there was a nation. So the things that are getting ready to happen, man, there's nothing that has happened in history that you're going to be able to compare it to, man. Okay, slavery, uh, uh, 70 AD, okay? This event that's getting ready to happen is going to trump all of those things, man. When Gustavo Colon came over to, uh, uh, you know, the island of Hispaniola and slaughtered uh, uh, the Arawak and the Taino Indians, this, this is going to surpass that, man. Okay? Which, that's the reason why you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, you should be getting yourself together, man. The Lord is going to bring great wrath down here upon you. Keep going. It says, even to that same time, uh -huh. and at that time, that's like it says, and at that time thy people shall be delivered. Yep, and at that time thy people shall be delivered, just as we read in Revelation 12 chapter. After the, uh, the dragon and his angels was cast down to the earth, Okay, his rulership was taken away from him. His society was destroyed. Then uh, salvation came. The, the, the kingdom of heaven was established. Okay? At that time, thy people shall be delivered. Keep going. It says, every one that shall be found written in the book. Yeah, which is the elect. Okay? There's more on that. Uh, Kai, I can continue to read. Kai. Uh, verse 2 says, And many of them that sleep in the dust of the earth shall awake, mm -hmm. some to everlasting life, and some to shame and everlasting contempt. Yeah, and that's the two-thirds. You're going to wake up to everlasting shame and contempt, man. Because you're going to realize that all the stuff that you was into was BS. Okay? You just pretty much wasted your life chasing the, you know, uh, uh, wickedness that's out here, man. Which none of those things profit you. Okay? Where, where, where are you going to what What kind of salvation are you going to get chasing after the bag to try to buy a Bentley, man? You're going to end up destroyed. Okay, are you chasing the bag so you can, you can have, you know, a whole bunch of, uh, you know, whores at your beck and call, man. You're going to end up destroyed. All right? The thing that you should be focused on is righteousness. 
Okay, how do I become uh, righteous? How do I become a vessel that's pleasing to you? How about Shem Yahushai? But our people, they not into that. You know, Jake's all caught up into what's going on in this world. And that's the reason why you're going to die. Uh, keep going. Verse 3 says, And they that be wise shall shine as the brightness of the firmament. Mm -hmm. And they that uh, turn many to righteousness as the stars forever and ever. That's right. Let's sit on that, right? Con. Con. Uh, what you... Any precepts, God? Bring it up. Uh, this is Jeremiah chapter 30, verse 7. Mm -hmm. Alas, for that day is great. Well, it's like one. Uh, uh, Jeremiah 30 and 1. The word that came to Jeremiah from the Lord, saying, Thus speaketh the Lord power of Israel, saying, Write thee all the words that I have spoken unto thee in a book. Uh -huh. For lo, the days come, saith the Lord, that I will bring again the captivity of my people Israel. Yeah, what does that mean? The Lord is going to bring the captivity of his people Israel. I mean, he's going to loose us out of this captivity. Okay? See, look, Esau, whatever you do, the words are still going to be fulfilled, man. Mm -hmm. All right? The nation of Israel is going to be loosed out of captivity. You going into slavery. Your whole society is going to be destroyed. Okay? And then after you serve out your punishment, you're going to be exterminated. All right? The same plan that you got for the nation of Israel is going to happen to you. All right, you want to exterminate us? You're gonna be exterminated, okay? And before before you get exterminated, you're gonna catch pure hell in the kingdom. All right, not only are you gonna get your ass beat, you're gonna be having to keep the law, statutes, and commandments of Yahweh Shem Yahushai, which it's impossible for you to do. Okay, keep going. It says and Judah saved the Lord, and I will cause them to return to the land that I gave to their fathers, uh -huh. and they shall possess it. That's right. And these are the words that the Lord spake concerning Israel and concerning Judah. Yeah, concerning both kingdoms, all right? Because the whole nation is going to experience this. Mainly here in uh, Babylon and Great. Keep going. For thus saith the Lord, we have heard a voice of trembling, mm -hmm. of fear, and not of peace. Yeah, this is the state that you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans are going to be in, man. A state of trembling and fear. Because you ain't going to know what the hell is uh, coming for you next, man. Okay, so you can drive on the freeway now, you know, you can go to work, you can go to the store, but all this is getting ready to end, man. You step outside, you can get put to death. You can have uh, different mercenaries chasing your ass, okay, uh, other nations chasing you, cannibals chasing you, all right, wild beasts chasing you, okay. Hell, the, the terrorists might be chasing your ass too, man. Keep going. It says, ask ye now and see whether a man doth travail with child. Uh-huh. Wherefore do I see every man with his hands on his loins as a woman in travail, and all faces are turned into paleness? Yeah, and that's the kind of pain that you people are going to experience, man. You're going to experience pain like a woman going through childbirth. That's how bad it's going to get out here, man. You're going to be starving to death. Then you're going to have to worry about where your food coming from. And then on top of that, you got to worry about staying alive to get food. Okay? And we've been telling you these things are going to happen. But you look at us like we we got you know seven heads on our on our head, man. Oh, Y'all niggas bugging out, you know. Get some money, nigga. You know, keep going. It says, "Alas, for that day is great." Uh huh. So that none is like it. So that none is like it. Here we go again. There's nothing that has happened in history that you're gonna be able to compare the times that we get ready to come into uh to, man. Okay, this gonna be worse than slavery. It's gonna be worse than the encomienda system. Okay, it's going to be worse than 70 AD. It's going to be worse than when the Babylonians took us down. It's going to be worse than when the Assyrians took us down. Okay, keep going. It says, it is even the time of Jacob's trouble. It is even the time of Jacob's trouble. Okay, and that word trouble, like I said, you know, concerning uh, what it said in Daniel's 12th chapter, means distress. Get uh, second Ezra 9 chapter. Uh, you want me to start at the time? Uh, you can just get to the point. It's a dwell in torments. Uh, this is Second Ezra 9 and 9. Then shall they be in pitiful case, which now have abused my way. Yeah, so this is the Lord bringing judgment down upon you, man. Okay? Something knows to you, everything that we saying is true. You so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native mm -hmm. Americans, you are the Israelites, man. You made a covenant with the Heavenly Father uh, when we came out of Egypt on Mount Horeb to keep his law, statutes, and commandments, man. Regardless of whether you acknowledge that or not, that don't matter to the Heavenly Father, man. He's just going to judge you accordingly. If you ain't doing what he told you to do, he's going to jack your ass up. Okay? And the vast majority of you are not doing what he told you to do. So he's going to bring judgment upon you, man. Judgment in the form of him sending calamities upon you. Okay? Uh, uh, mainly, he's going to send Esau Edom on your ass. 
Okay, so that's the reason why Esau is going to be given a, 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 you know, a green pass to bring this hell upon you, man. Because you're wicked. But keep going. It says, then shall they be in pitiful case, which now have abused my ways. Uh-huh, you abusing the ways of Yahweh Shem Shah. You're abusing his grace, man. The Most High gave you a grace period to get yourself together to come back to him, okay, to learn how to fear him, and you you using it to do whatever you want to, man. Or oh, what was these niggas doing a few uh, uh, days ago? You niggas went down to Miami, okay, down there for spring break, man. Committing nothing but wickedness, all right? Partying up. You know, committing adultery. Oh, you, you know what you niggas be doing, man. Okay, that's what Jake. That's what Jake did. You know, yeah, two uh, two niggas out there. They uh rape rape the bitch to death. Mm -hmm. they, they got pinned. Uh, they got Esau got the ass. Yep. So, yeah, too. Mm yeah, -hmm. yeah. So that's adding on what the elder is saying. Niggas being niggas. It says, uh, "Then shall they be in pitiful case, yep. which now have abused my ways." Uh huh. And yes, this is the two thirds. Yep. You wicked Israelites out there, you are gonna be in a pitiful case, man. Jacob's trouble is gonna really come upon you. Exactly. That's who it's for. All right. Keep going. <coughs> and they that have cast them away, despite who he shall dwell in torment. Shall so dwell in torment. So you look up that word uh, torment is mental and physical anguish, or mental or physical anguish. Mm -hmm. And the Lord is gonna send both of those things upon you, man. Okay, the mental anguish is going to come from you uh, not being certain of what you, what's going to be your outcome, man. You might wake, well, you might not even wake up. You know, somebody might kick your door in while you sleep or pick the lock and come in while you sleep and put you to death. You know, if you do wake up, it's going to be nothing but hell. You got to worry about where your food is coming from, whether your kids and your family is going to be safe. You know, keep going. Or such as in their life have received benefits and have not known me. Mm -hmm. And they that have loathed my law while they had yet liberty, and when as yet place of repentance was open unto them. Yeah, and the place of repentance is open unto you now. That's the reason why we're making these videos, man. To tell you about Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai and the severe wrath that he's getting ready to come down here upon the earth with. But the majority of our people, they don't take it seriously, man. So you, you just gonna have to deal with the judgment. All right? Keep going. And when, that, and when as yet place of repentance was open unto them, understood not but despised it. Understood not but despised it. And Jake don't want to repent to Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. Jake want to continue on in his wickedness. So guess what? You're going to be destroyed in that wickedness, man. Okay? All you niggas that was down there in Miami uh, celebrating spring break, okay, being a complete demon, the Lord going to kill you niggas, man. That's right. All right? You got videos of the niggas just taking over the street and uh, the nigga woman twerking, man. Stopping traffic to twerk. Have to have, they had to uh, put a curfew on them. Yeah, they declared a state of emergency. Yeah, that's, that's crazy. You know, people thought it was because of the, the, the Rona. Now it's for, it was because of niggas, man. You know, niggas just taking over the city. Mm -hmm. You know, being complete demons, man. You blocking traffic. Is we're on that? Uh, I'll finish it off here. Uh, verse 12. The same must know it after death by pain. The same must know it after death by pain. Okay, so you're going to get put to death in a very painful manner, man. Sure. And that's what Jacob's tr uh, trouble is going into. Mm -hmm. uh, you can jump back to that. Mm -hmm. Jeremiah 30 and 7. It is even the time of Jacob's trouble, mm -hmm. but he shall be saved out of it. And who is the he that's going to be saved out of it? The elect of the nation of Israel. The Israelites that have taken heed to the warning that Yahweh Shai had delivered by the hand of his prophets, man. Okay, and they got themselves together and they started to offend uh, less, as the scriptures say. They put off the, the uh, you know, the image of this world and put on the image of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai, man. Okay, that standard that he set up for us from the beginning. Following the laws, statutes, and commandments to the best of your ability. Obeying the spirit of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. Okay, keep going. For it shall come to pass in that day, saith the Lord of hosts, that I will break the, so like I will break his yoke from off thy neck. Whose yoke? Esau Edom's yoke. Because we're currently in slavery right now, man. Keep going. And will burst thy bonds, mm -hmm. and strangers shall no more serve themselves of him. Yeah, so we ain't going to be under these other nations anymore. The Lord is going to give us sovereignty, man. Keep going. But they shall serve the Lord their power, mm -hmm. and David their king, whom mm -hmm. I will raise up unto them. That's right. That's yeah. not that yet. That's a little bit more. Okay. It says, Therefore fear thou not, O my servant Jacob, mm -hmm. saith the Lord. Yeah, and that's to the elect. Okay, the message that you read before, Jeremiah uh, uh, 30 and 7, okay, the first part of that, okay.
okay, is even the time of Jacob's trouble. That's for you two-thirds. That he shall be saved out of it is for the elect. And this is also for the elect as well, man. Okay? Why, why doesn't the elect have to fear? Because the Heavenly Father is going to protect them. All right? Keep going. It says, neither be dismayed. <clears throat> that word dismayed means to lose uh, enthusiasm. So don't get in the mindset to where, you know, you start to condemn yourself and be like, yo, man, I, you know, most I ain't coming. You got to have faith, man. Okay, because we all going to be tested, uh, uh, you know, when this ordeal goes down, man. We all going to be put in situations to where our faith is going to be tested, just like Yahushua was tested. You know, the Spirit's been having, uh, you know, certain brothers go into that. The servant is not above the master, man. Okay, so the same thing that happened to Yahushua is going to happen to us. We're going to be tempted. You know, and that's the reason why that example is there in the scriptures. Okay, we're going to be put in the same situations that uh, Azariah, Hananiah, and Mishael were put in. We're going to be put in the same situations that Daniel was put in. Okay, we're going to be put in the same positions and situations that uh, uh, Mordecai and Esther was put in, man. Okay, being faced with extermination. But you have to rely on Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. Don't lose enthusiasm, man. Okay, because Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai, he said he's going to deliver us. Okay, he's going to deliver us in the time of trouble. He stated that multiple times, man. All we have to do is trust in him. Trust in him and wait. Be patient. Don't be like Esau, man. Okay? Oh, the Lord ain't coming. Let me take the chip. You know? Once you do that, you're done. You better off being a martyr than uh, taking an RFID microchip, man. Uh, keep going. Oh, Israel, for lo, I will save thee from afar. The Lord is going to save us from afar, man. Okay? So no matter where the nation of Israel is at, he's going to deliver them from that uh, uh, place, man. And hold uh, Deuteronomy, the 30th chapter. And you can just get to the, uh, you know, if thy seed be uh, spread out to the utmost part of heaven, I will deliver them. Uh, keep going. And thy seed from the land of their captivity. And thy seed from the land of their captivity. Yep. So we're going to be saved from this place, man. Okay, even though it looks like Yahweh Hashem Yahweh is not dealing with us, you know we on a we on a low level. Okay, we don't got money like uh, some of our people do. We're the individuals that Yahweh Hashem Yahweh is dealing with, man. Okay, the Heavenly Father is going to deliver us from this uh, uh, place, from the land of our captivities, and set us up back in the land of Israel, man. Okay, there's more on that. Fine. It says. And Jacob shall return and shall be in, in rest uh -huh. and be quiet. And none shall make him afraid. Yeah, we ain't got to worry about none of these other nations coming up against us and trying to take us down because we're going to be at peace with our power, man. The Heavenly Father is going to put his laws, statutes, and commandments inside our inward parts, and we're going to be perfect beings in the sight of the Heavenly Father, man. So none of these nations are going to have, uh, uh, you know, any uh, uh, way to get us to, to fall so they can take us down, man. Okay. It's the only reason why you other nations are able to take us down is because we commit iniquity against Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. But the Lord is going to cut that out. So there's nothing you other nations are going to be able to do to, uh, you know, put us in a position to where we, we are able to be conquered. Okay? Oh, you got more? That's it on there. All right, can I bring it up? This, this is um, Deuteronomy 30 and 4. If any of thine be driven out unto the, unto the utmost parts of heaven, mm -hmm. from thence will the Lord thy power gather thee and from thence will, I, will he fetch thee. And that's what he's going to do. Okay, now it ain't saying nothing about no other nations. This is dealing specifically with uh, the nation of Israel. So those uh, people that are going to be delivered from the four corners of the earth, from every kindred, uh, nation, and tongue, those are Israelites that have been dispersed. Okay, no matter where the nation of Israel is at, the Heavenly Father is going to deliver them from those places, man. Okay? Go ahead. Go ahead. Uh, this is uh, St. Matthew 24, I started at 30 to point 31, uh, verse 30. And then shall appear the sign of the Son of Man in heaven, mm -hmm. and then shall all the tribes of the earth mourn, yep. and they shall see the Son of Man coming in the clouds of heaven with power and great glory. Yep. And he shall send his angels with a great sound of a trumpet, and they shall gather together his elect from the four winds from one end of heaven to the other. Yeah, who are the elect? The elect is the nation of Israel. Okay? So that's who's going to be delivered from this coming destruction. That's who's going to be delivered from this judgment, the elect of the nation of Israel, man. Okay, uh, somebody get uh, Isaiah the 23rd chapter, or Jeremiah 23. Mm -hmm. All right, the great God. 
this uh, Jeremiah 16 and 14. Mm -hmm. uh, Therefore, behold, the days come, saith the Lord, that it shall no more be said, the Lord liveth that brought up the children of Israel out of the land of Egypt. Yep. But the Lord liveth that brought up the children of Israel from the land of the north. Yep, that's what's going to be spoken about, man. Mm -hmm. Okay, because this is going to be a great and spectacular deliverance, man. At no other time in history has the both side done what he's getting ready to do, man. Okay, even though Egypt, that was a, a spectacular deliverance, the Lord's going to top it. And how's he going to top it? He's going to actually deliver his people with the chariots, man. They're going to go inside the chariots. Okay, when we was coming out of the land of Egypt, we was just led by a chariot. The Lord is going to beam up his uh, uh, people inside of those vehicles, man. Okay, and everybody is going to see these things. All right, just as it states in Revelation 11, chapter, they're enemies of uh, Behelda. So these other nations, you're going to see the deliverance of the nation of Israel. Okay, where do you think that the stories is going to come from? You know, keep going. But the Lord liveth that yep. brought up the children of Israel from the land of the north, uh -huh. and from all the lands whither he had driven them. And from all the lands whither he had driven them, because the nation of Israel has been dispersed throughout the four corners of the earth. Okay, so when you read about the, you know, the Gentiles in the New Testament, and they've been slain in salvation, that's who it's talking about. The Israelites that have been scattered, man. Where in the Old Testament can you show me that the other nations now have a chance at salvation and serving Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai? It's not in there, man. Okay, and the reason why you you wacky tacky Christians like to omit the Old Testament is because it don't match up with what you're saying, man. Now the Gentiles, they some other they they, they that's Moab, that's Ammon, Japhet is up in there. But when you read in the Old Testament, the most science is talking about delivering the nation of Israel from all the lands of the earth. Okay, so how can it be talking about the the, the heathen when the most high said he's delivering his people? Right. You know. So what you do, you take the Old Testament out. Oh, see, that's, the, that's that old God. And he's not like that no more. The scriptures say that the Lord changes not. Therefore, ye sons of Jacob are not consumed, man. Okay? Uh, there's more on that? Just a little bit. And I will bring them again into their land mm -hmm. and I, that I gave unto their fathers. Yep, that's right. That's exactly what's going to happen, man. The Lord is going to deliver the nation of Israel. And he's going to set them back in the land of Israel. Okay, and they're going to rule the whole world from uh, uh, that place. Uh, you got something? Got this, this God. Isaiah, Isaiah chapter 26, verse 20. Come, my people, enter thou into thy chambers. Mm -hmm. Which the chambers is talking about uh, those chariots. So the Heavenly Father is actually going to lift uh, certain individuals up and uh, bring them into the, the chariots, man. Okay, which this has never happened before in history. The most high bringing multitudes of people inside of chariots. Okay? You people bug out over the chariots already, man. You know? So so what's going to be going through these people's mind when, when they see the elect getting beamed up? You know, these, these, these people made some kind of pact with the aliens, man. You know? How they, how they get the aliens' favor, man? But you don't, you don't know what you're shot. You know, you're going to see them on the chariot. You're going you're gonna to see the angels, man. All right? Uh, keep going. Says, come, my people, enter thou into thy chambers, mm -hmm. and shut thy doors about thee. Yep. And hide thyself as it were for a little moment. Hide thyself as it were for a little moment, because we only gonna be in those chariots. Yeah, how about Shmuel and Shai? Will be part of that number for a short time, man? Okay, keep going. Until the indignation be overpassed. Until the indignation be overpassed. And what's the indignation? The wrath of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh coming down here upon the earth. The thermonuclear destruction, man. Okay, so once that subsides, the Heavenly Father is going to allow the nation of Israel to be released from the chariots, and they're going to subdue the earth, man. All right, uh, keep going. For behold, the Lord cometh out of his place to punish the inhabitants of the earth. And that's what's going to happen, okay? The Heavenly Father is going to send his son back down here to punish the inhabitants of the earth. Okay, and you people are, are completely oblivious to this fact, man, that the Most High is going to send judgment down here. So you 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 conduct yourself like these things ain't gonna happen. I ain't got nothing to worry about. Alright? You got a lot to worry about, man. You don't want to get on the bad side of the Heavenly Father. Says, for behold, the Lord come up out of his place to punish the inhabitants of the earth for their iniquity. Mm -hmm. For your iniquity. And what's iniquity? You committing sin upon sin upon sin. Alright? But see here in this society, they don't tell you what iniquity and sin is. Okay? So what's going to happen to you? You're going to be destroyed. Your best bet is to find out 
as soon as possible what is sin. Okay? Sin is the transgression of the laws of the Heavenly Father. Okay? Which this world is, is set up on sin, based upon sin. You know, this whole society is based upon you breaking the laws, statutes, and commandments of Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai. And the individuals that are doing that, they're going to be destroyed. Okay? So what you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans should be doing is finding out what sin is and don't do it. Okay? But the majority of you don't care. You worried about, okay, oh, I'm going to go down to Miami for spring break. You know, when, when the next party happens. You know, let's go to the ATL and turn up. Forget okay. about the Heavenly Father and, and His ways, man. Keep going. The earth also shall disclose her blood and shall no more cover her slain. Mm -hmm. okay. 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 Okay, yeah, this um, second Israel 15 and 22, it says, My right hand shall not spare the sinners. That's right. 